This is the Coach Pillow Madison, and we're going to find out what fits inside. So if you're interested in what fits inside this beautiful Pillow Madison, then stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're new here. Thanks for joining me in the babe cave. So let's look at this beautiful pillow Madison up close. There's where you can see all the nice stitching, the shiny lambskin. Now this might be easily scratch material. I could not resist this bag. It is a stunner. It has the large hang tag. Some people take these off and they're scared to lose the hang tag. Here's the back of it. These don't quite line up, but really it's the back side and who really cares? Look at that stitching. Here's the bottom. No quilting, but it's super soft and puffy. Here's the close-up of the magnetic closure and this material, which I don't know what is inside, but it feels like suede. <laughs> it could be the microfiber fabric. <clears throat> close-up on these rivets here. It says coach on all of them. Every single one of them says coach. And up close of the strap, here's the strap with the leather going through the whole thing. And as you saw in my first video, it does not fit me crossbody. <laughs> so it will strictly be a shoulder bag for me. So I just tucked them in. Just I Usually when I store bags, which this one will stay in a dust bag most likely, but I keep my straps inside the bag. So there is the close-up shiny goodness of this bag. Let's get inside. Like I said before, when it's full, this is easier to turn. I still have a stuffing in there. Got to be careful with that leather C. And then opening up. There's the inside grommets with the chain that goes through. And we'll just go like that. I'm kind of surprised that these aren't black. You would think that they would have done black patch with black on the little tabbies and the zipper pull, but they didn't. But it's inside, so who really cares, right? And this on the Claire was that brown that snuck through, which was terrible. So this one is a black calfskin. <clears throat> There's no coach on this part. And let me take the stuffing out here. And there's the patch, if you're curious. Came from the coach website. I don't know if they're still having the sale when I put, post this video, but I got it for a re really good deal, $247. Here's the back zipper. And, of course, the coach card. And while I'm in here, I always put my tag of the bag in the back. So Quilted Pillow Madison, and this is the shoulder bag, not the crossbody anyway. They have a smaller size, this is the bigger size. And of course in the black. <clears throat> 4 dollars is apparently retail, but you know how that goes. And inside this pocket, it says coach on that fabric, inside the zipper. Just taking a look here of all the stitching, looks good. 
So when you full when you lift it, <clears throat> it's gonna it's gonna wear a little bit when you open your bag up. See how it folds, but then it comes back it comes back okay. But so that's you know might be an issue later, might not, because I don't use my bags constantly, <laughs> so I switch too much for that. <clears throat> But there's the inside, and then this one has the magnetic closure for the front pocket. And there's the inside of the front pocket. No card case or anything in that. And then another detail on these turn locks is that coach puts their brand on that as well. And you can see the gunmetal hardware. So, I think I've showed you every detail that I've seen on this bag. It is a stunner beauty. This is what I consider luxury. I don't want to pay for a Chanel bag. <laughs> and I imagine that the lambskin on a Chanel bag might feel just like this. I don't know for sure because I don't have one to compare, but this is super soft and I consider this a luxury bag. So let's just see what we can fit inside. So starting up at the, the front pocket right here, it's going to have to be pretty thin, I would say, but I think I want to put my business cards right there and then this is some change and that's just my daisy rose the pink one was an amazon card holder so we can put those two i believe up there yeah so we'll just do that it's so nice if you could touch this right now you would be like wow <laughs> So, I'm just kind of going to show you what, how much this thing can fit. So, we've got keys. See, it's not, it's not the biggest bag because of how the puffiness is. And then I could use this for my wallet, my Dooney and Berkeley. See, there, there it fits, but probably can fit some gum. I can fit a pin in the back. I could fit my charger for my phone. I typically don't put anything in the zipper pocket. So there's one uh, option you could do. It fits all your essentials and then of course in the back I would put my phone. This is the Big giant 15 Pro Max fits just fine, even with the the stuff inside. Now let's try the Coach Nolita 15. Let's take this out. I gotta have keys, so that's gotta stay. Uh, I could probably still fit the gum. Let's see what the Coach Nolita 15, see if it fits at all. Um, okay. <clears throat> I, uh, it takes up, uh, too much room, so it fits, but I don't know that I would use a Nolita 15 inside this bag. <laughs> I just don't think it's big enough for that. You can still fit your essentials you know, in your wallet and a few catch-all things inside here, but, and some gum, but you're limited on the space. So, <clears throat> you have to pack it <laughs> a little bit more precise than you normally would because of how puffy it is. If they probably would have left out this front flat pocket, you would have had more room for your things. But 
I did fit those two items up there in the front right here. Let's look at this magnetic here. But yeah, it fits quite a bit of stuff. You just can't overpack it like anything. This thing's a beauty. So here it is packed up. It's so pretty. And it stands. <laughs> so when I first was playing around with this bag, I couldn't get it to stand up on its own, which really bugs me. <laughs> so when it's full, I believe it'll stand. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. So this is uh, what fits and what you can put inside. You know, you can fit your keys, your wallet, extra cards, coins. It fits your essentials, chapstick, you know, your phone can go in the back side. The stitching is just so pretty. Yep. No regrets here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little... What fits in this Madison Coach Pillow Madison bag? And a little bit more close up on the details, which are amazing. I see why this bag costs so much. I mean, it really is a nice bag. I will be a little more careful with it, but I'm still going to wear it because it is so pretty. I'm probably going to wear it to a Christmas little play thing we're going to go to on Saturday, actually. So, I don't know when I'm putting this video up, but anyway, that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you did, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Do you have one of these? <laughs> I really uh, would love to get that that pink one, that hot pink one in the full size. Oh, but black is classic and timeless. So you know what? I'm really happy with this one. So anyway, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the bell for future notifications of when I pop up a video. And happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.